Hey guys, we know why you're here. You want to know what happened after the podcast last week. So here is a quick follow-up to that episode. As of today, we have not seen said 300 pages of documents. After the podcast, we were shown a couple of zoomed-in screenshots of source code with no contacts. Our email address is in the corner of one screenshot and the name Robert Lee on the corner of another screenshot. When we asked him who sent these to him, he said, Brian, we then asked to be connected to his team directly to get further clarity, and he assured us that he would make that happen. We followed up with him for the next three days, and finally on Thursday, we received a text from Brendan saying his team would prefer to handle this issue in-house and does not feel comfortable sharing information with Tiger Belly. To recap, we have not received any substantial evidence regarding the accusations. We have not been in contact with a team. All we've seen are some screenshots sent to Brendan from Brian Callum. We're hoping to get some closure on this, but that's probably not going to happen. The good news is we have a great episode today, and we'd like to start by thanking our sponsors. If you'd like more info or just want to use our Tiger Belly codes, the best codes in the game, you can go to SeatGeek.com, code Belly, and BetterHelp.com slash Belly. Enjoy the show. I love, Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I love your nipples. I I love my nipples. I love I, everything about your. Bo- I love everything but your body. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. I, I was gonna. I, I, you thought I was gonna say I love everything about you. Yeah. I love everything about you, you know, but except your body. What about my ass though? Your ass is terrible. What are you talking about? I think your face though. <laughs> from that photo shoot we did, your face dude, so good, so good. Oh, from, but, so good. But who took the longest for that photo to get the shot? George Kimmel? Dude, dude, George, 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 George. She's like, George, you get close. I did, so everyone, I didn't no, no, want to show you up, but you know, I couldn't no, remember no, no, like no. anything you did. I didn't. It, it was tough. Can you not talk that much oh. right now? <laughs> just not talk that much right now. That's what I was trying to do with my face during the photo shoot. I'm not trying to bully you, man. But just don't talk so much. nothing right. came out. You sound like a certain somebody right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just looked like dude, mayonnaise. I just I have the a whole shop, I have I shop vibes right now, dude. <laughs> Wait, okay, so we should probably let the audience know that we're really only... Um, an hour, two hours away from having done the shop episode. Yes, but we all decided to change our clothes. I changed my clothes, so I want to look like a jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so bro, that outfit, yeah, yeah. fire. What did? Okay, obviously we, <laughs> him and we all agreed that we would probably have a debrief episode of each other's. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So you know, um, I have to say, in terms of uncomfortable podcast <laughs> I've done in my life, oh, right? Yeah. That rivaled the Carlos Mencia one. Ooh, the Carlos Mencia yeah. was for me very uncomfortable mm-hmm. because I love Ned. You know what I mean? And um, that was difficult to experience. This was just as uncomfortable. I I kind of observed something uh, about Shab, and this is not a negative thing. Is that when the cameras are on, he really is sort of he has an air about him that is he's a certain way. Uh-huh. But when the cameras are off, because he stayed for another hour afterwards. Great, great conversation. He's a lot more relaxed and a lot more human and a lot more he's a like pie. down to earth than he would seem he, on camera. He's but a when, thick, big sweetie pie. But, <laughs> yum, but yum. now because he has to go to the bathroom twice, we were laughing about it and he took like 10 minutes and each I don't, bathroom it's trip. either a nervous poop. No, I don't or, like where you're going. Or, did or he, it, uh, okay. Did he bug us? Is that why he stayed an hour after? Sorry, Shab. Uh, uh, That's not what. Uh, 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 Sorry, Shab. Uh, 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 hey. Hi. Yeah, um, let's think that through. Okay. okay, let's think that. All right, so you observed him in our podcast room where we generally do all our gossip. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right? Did you see him bug anything? Well, no. he was. So he stayed for exactly an hour and a half extra. Yeah, it was great. It was and he kept time. going. He, he was. He, he was. So, yeah. So your theory is that he bugged our guest bathroom. Now. That's the, the only time of, he was alone. The, Wait, that the wasn't amount, the only time he was alone. The amount of He's time, the one who told me. Right, yeah, the amount of times I've talked about Brendan Schaub in the guest bathroom is only seven times. <laughs> <laughs> so we have those. Never, times. never. I have never. Uh, first of all, I've never had any conversations to anybody in that area. Think about it. Have you ever said anything about anyone in a bathroom? But do you know how bugging technology works? What if it's able to like listen to us upstairs and everywhere? 
Oh, that's bugging technology? I never I see know. that in any fucking show. <laughs> I don't know. If you, you know what I mean? Trust me, dude. If you put, plant a, a bug in the barn, you'll be able to ha- hear it in the house. Honestly, though, <laughs> if he did I went that. Lo- it was a long way for that. It was a long way for that, but the character was good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, thank you. Honestly, though, I would. <laughs> I'd probably respect him if he was able to pull that off somehow. Yeah. Yeah, he's not. No, I think that, um, you know, I feel relieved. You know, I, I I don't like being in conflict with other podcasters, especially because, you know, we're we are a community. You know, I mean, I know that. I wish I could say this, but I, I'm not. The, you could tell there's divisions. <laughs> right. So when the, this whole thing went down, you know, my my phone, I got texts from allies. Right. And then. But then, like the ones that didn't tag, you could tell like there was a division. Can you say who the allies are, or no? No, because no, because if I tell you the fucking allies, <laughs> you're gonna just deduce and, and go, oh, those. No, no, no. You, you could because it's not like I have a lot more allies that never call because they, they know that I'm uncomfortable and yeah. they're so I could tell there you. There was one ally that I heard that was just a funny call. That was okay. Funny. So I'll tell you who did call. No, to, tell, to there see was how one, I am. The funniest phone. Funniest call phone call was right after H three. It was hilarious. I'm calling to threaten you is what he oh, said. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Segura. <laughs> Segura, immediately after uh, he, he threatened me, I'm, I'm calling to threaten you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, man. You know what I mean? And he asked me how I was. So Segura, um, That's it. But maybe he called Brandon and said the same. Steve-O. But maybe he called Brandon and said the same. Yeah, we can't say. We, we can't don't know, know they're allies. allies. That's they're a weird good, thing. Maybe they're good people that just wanted to make sure everyone was okay. All right. <laughs> just... Why don't you just um, um, compare right, maybe, notes with Brendan? All right, you're right. But that would hurt me. <laughs> Let me know. just say something right, right? Because I'm not going to name who said this. There's three guys that said this on through, through text, and I'm going to show you. I can show you, right? Okay. I'm not going to say who they are, okay? But they said, we're Team Bobby, okay? Mm. Now, if they had texted me, we're Team Bobby, and then also texted <laughs> Brendan, we're Team Brendan, no, right? They also texted him, we're also Team Bobby to Brendan. <laughs> Yeah, but if they did Brendan, right, then that's a piece of shit. That's yeah. a dude. That's what? Right? That, yeah. That's the kind of guy. I don't like guys that's, like that. That's a friend to all is a friend to none. Who said that? Your dad once? No, it's oh. a, a popular <laughs> <laughs> it's Because a it sounds like what an saying. old Frenchman would But say. don't you kind of think? <laughs> the myth, though, when I went to the comedy store the other night. Am I crazy, George? Yeah, I was just thinking about the last episode, though, was the least funny we've ever had. So it's kind of hard to. Which one? No. Well, the, I'm just saying, like, the, they, they think. Two hours ago. Oh, that one? Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. We found our moments. We found our moments. We found our moments. <laughs> um, when I was at... What? No, I, I, I just you. derailed the whole conversation. No, no, no. no, no. I, I, How I, did I, that happen? Dude, you're a fucking conversation killer. <laughs> 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 All right. No, dude. Not I love you. other people. I love you, man. <laughs> you, did you express everything you needed to express? That's what you talking about. <laughs> no, honestly, I want... You know what, dude? I want you to be heard. Okay? I really do. I want you to be Amber Heard. Now, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to be heard. Uh, I just wanted to say when I went to we went to the comedy store for the Bad Friends live show, it was just reminded me how how special I have it and how uh, it made me really grateful for everything. Uh, really? Are you yeah. being real? No, actually, yeah, 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 it yeah. was like that was a magical. Lila showed up to like I just like everybody like how much. Yeah, we, we built by. something. We built something nice, and even when you know me and Andrew did Austin, it was beautiful and nice, and um, you know um. That's the last thing that I want is um, a war and people taking sides. But I, ha- I do have to admit, I've been going to the comedy store and um, I am like a mo- I'm like I'm the flame. People gravitate. Yeah, people are just coming to me and going, what, what, "What's going on?" You know what I mean? And this is my take and this and that. And it, I guess you know, in terms of gossip, it's fun. You know what I mean? But um, not to our mental health. It's though. not good for our mental health. Holy We've been very unhappy in the house. It's been. Oh disastrous it's been just depressing and um i just hope it's behind us mm. well it, this is now airing a week after mm-hmm. you yeah. mean the show. I, it's behind us tbd 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 um but you know but you know at the end of the day and i don't know if this is the right thing to say that pizza is so good it's so fucking bro good. it just i hit you know what <laughs> The garlic, I, it's the garlic. The garlic it's just so hit good. me right now yeah, in the back so of my mouth. I'm so sorry I interrupted you, but it the <laughs> flavor just finally hit me. What's the restaurant called? Shout out. Blackbird. Blackbird on Melrose. Great pizza. If I'm you're so ever in fucking LA. sorry. That was just, it, it just like, 
It hit me right here. No, I, I but I get one to do to mm. you later. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just a tit for tat. Yeah. Right. Because I'm gonna let that one go, but I get one. All right. I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> Something about it. I was so enraged by the uh, the the Blackbird plug. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I forgot what I was saying. Um, you're talking about comedy. Stuff. Oh, that's you're great! A, that's great that you guys weren't even listening. You know, you were a flame. You're you're the uh, you're the, the moth. After that, I had another idea that I was gonna say. Uh, oh, I, I I know what I was gonna say because there's no way you can read my mind. <laughs> it's like Doctor Strange. I'm complex and madness. Did you see it? Yeah, I liked it. I haven't seen it yet. Did you see it? Yeah, I wouldn't put it in my top five. Oh wow! Of Doctor Strange movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's number two out of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 had a lot to I'll, serve. I'll, I'll, had a lot to serve, and Sam Raimi. I know why you liked it because you love Sam Raimi, probably. So they played a. Uh, they were very non marvel That's why you liked it. All right, all, all right. If we're gonna do a Doctor Strange multiverse, what's it called? Madness of multi. What's it? Madness of the multi. Have, I don't know. Multi man. Multi man. Yeah. All right. So um, let's do a, re- a movie review. Okay. Claude, I want your take too. Even though you didn't. See okay. It. I, did, I didn't. See. You have to still give your take. So number one. Okay. Here's what I liked about it. All right. Obviously, Bruce Campbell. Great cameo. Okay. He's in all of Sam Raimi's movie, and I guess watching the movie, I was just like, didn't give a fuck until Bruce Campbell came up on screen. So that's number one. Or number two, right? Um, it's not great. But there's some, cl- not cliche, um, because of the multiverse, you know what I mean, um, dynamic in the movie, you can now break so many different rules. Sure. Right, so like in if you haven't seen the new Spider Man movie, then that's on spoiler you. alert. But because of the multiverse thing, you can bring back Toby mm-hmm. and um, Garfield, Andrew Garfield, who I like as an actor, by the well, way. I was so I good. I fully imagine Garfield the cat for some reason. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. In the yeah, Spider Man, yeah, imagine <laughs> a, a por- portal opens up, Toby Maguire walks in, and another portal opens up, and just <laughs> an orange cat. <laughs> With lasagna on his face comes in. Rug movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walks out. So, <laughs> if it, so th- there's that, you know what I mean, rule that they can have now. So now when you're watching, you know what I mean, uh, Doctor Strange, there's a couple of strange cameos in it. You didn't think any of some of them were kind of cool, though? No. I think it's weird. Interesting. Because it's like, I know why it's for, like, the applause effect. Because I remember being in the theater with Jules... And seeing Toby and Andrew Garfield, because it was such a surprise. People were, yeah. And we were like, ah! I don't even know why, but you know what I mean? Ah! I was doing that, right? With this one, me and uh, Gene looked at each other and went, the last, <laughs> the last reveal of a certain group of people, our audience went, they started laughing. Yeah, because he the looked last like he was one. about to die. Don't see- oh, let's, fuck it, let's just give it away. No, don't the give fuck. it away. I have to. It's two weeks. This is two weeks in. Okay, fine. You're right. All right. So because of the multiverse <laughs> aspects of these movies now, you can bring people in from other movies that have no relation to the Avengers or, mm. right? Still Marvel, though. Still Marvel, right? So you had Elastic Man. What's his name? The last one we had, John Krasinski as, as uh, Doctor, Doctor from the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four guy. Right. Mr. Fantastic? Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. He comes in. And people were like, oh, uh, right? People were in my theater like, what? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like John Krasinski. And then the last reveal is, I, I, it was a pant, like, I went, oh. The music, you hear the little music? Yeah, it was Professor X. Patrick, oh. Stewart, Patrick Stewart. Yeah, he comes in with his wheelchair, but he looks like he's dead. <laughs> he's he's very, so he, old. He, very he, old. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I love, you know I love him as an actor. He's yeah. my favorite. There was a little bit of a concern there, right? But, um, and then people were like, because like, younger kids didn't see X Men. Right, no attachment. Right. So, they're like, who's the old man, the crippled old man? You know what yeah. I mean? And that was a little weird. But, um, yeah, it, you know what? You're right. It's not the best one, but. Not the worst. Still fun. Yeah, still fun. Mm-hmm. Still fun. What's the matter, George? Nothing. Just make a trip. You know, it's, it's funny, George. When I talk, <laughs> as of late, I've been observing you, and there's a lot of drifting. There's a lot of looking at monitors, a lot of looking at your watch, looking at your gadgets. Is, is, am I saying stuff that's not riveting? No, I was just making sure you were. everybody's in frame, everything's good. I check it every five said, minutes to make sure everything's... You, oh, okay. excuse me, Kurosawa. Ooh. Everything needs to be perfect on the screen. I'm always riveted by you. You're riveting to me, too, as well. 
And it's about eight. a half an hour past my bedtime now. So. Is it really? He oh, sleeps yeah. early now. Oh, oh so you're like daddy. Birthday. Yeah. You're a daddy. This kid wakes up at 6 a.m. every morning, no matter what. He is cute, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he, there is a little bit of resemblance, you know what I mean? I can see a little bit of George in him. Oh, thank you. But um, I see the good part, too. <laughs> Mostly, mostly your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what he yeah, meant. Yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. Yeah. He's mostly your I wife. I see some of you, but I see also the good aspects. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is what I, uh, what I wanted. <laughs> what I wanted to say. You know. Did you know your butt has a favorite app? That's right. It's Seek Geek. <laughs> you guys see Seek Geek, dude. It's like you know, you want tickets to events, right? Or yeah. even your show. And my own show, right? You got to go to SeatGeek, baby, right? Has your butt been having enough fun lately? If not, then it's time to start using SeatGeek, guys. Have you been treating your butt well lately? Has it been going places? No. Now you got to try SeatGeek. Did you know your butt has a favorite app? That's right, SeatGeek. SeatGeek. We got it. SeatGeek. Tell us more about it. You guys, this is where I get my Dodger tickets. This is where I get tickets to every single music Harry Styles. To Harry Styles for Juliana. For just every festivals, every single like event that I've Cochili. been to, I have used SeatGeek. They make it very easy. Whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, whatever it is, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. Guys, you can get twenty dollars off your first purchase with the promo code Belly at SeatGeek.com or on the SeatGeek app. That's promo code Belly for twenty dollars off your first SeatGeek order. SeatGeek, get your seat in a seat. Download the app today. You know, he is very cute, and congratulations. He looks like he has all his limbs, because mm-hmm. he was doing, doing a little arm thing. On the uh, he post. just started walking, and he bonks his head every hour, it seems. That's cute. No. Does he cry a lot? Uh, only, when, like, we've got, like, little stairs, like a three steps of stairs that we can't, like, cordon off in the house. You set him down, he just walks up there, walks to the top, then falls off, cries, <laughs> and then you hold him for an hour, or, like, a little hour, and then, like, as soon as you set him down, he goes back and, like, Kids just want to like do the most dangerous thing possible. Now they can walk. Would you let Bobby babysit? Not with Kalila, your son. And be honest. For let's say this, something reasonable, two hours. No, no, let's not no. Full day. No. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on a Thursday. <laughs> That's a dirty bad friend. Is he dropping <laughs> off a diaper bag and the the, the milk and, I, and, and everything? Yeah. Now the dogs aren't here. I do have the cats. It's just me and your and your kid. No Kalila. No Kalila. Twelve hours, right? <laughs> of and be honest with me, and it won't hurt my feelings. Bobby, do you are are you willing to babysit this Thursday for twelve hours? Yes. You're willing to. Yes. Um, will you pay attention on how to change a diaper? This is good. I'll take the class. And pay. Make sure you don't look away, because he can roll over now. Like if you set him on something, it's very important. You don't look away. No, actually, it's a little easier now because he did just discover his penis. Whoa, but whoa, he whoa, usually whoa, cries whoa, whoa, when he like whoa, whoa, we change his diaper. Don't even bring that up, bro. Don't bring. That's crazy. What? In Bobby's eyes, he doesn't have a. Penis. He doesn't have a penis. Also, no, no, no. The baby, have, the baby. Have, like here's. We have an unfenced pool. He's like he always he hates getting his diaper changed. He always cries, but now he just discovered like. Oh really? Uh, yeah, uh, it it's feels like, good. It just feels different. Okay, what? Not that he just. It's, well, what you're uh, you're you're only telling me because your eyeballs got so big. No, no, you, because I just. But are you telling me that there's no that. sensation on the uh, on a child's penis? It's yeah. just different. Like kids are discovered. Like yeah, like <laughs> they're discovering their body. I think there is sensation. Not, okay, well you would <laughs> you assume, see it, right? He's too fat. What's your answer, George? Yeah. What, Bobby? This is kind of like this a good. Is, it's good. This TV is scary because like he can fall off of things. Like he's. What you, what you think I'm going to put him on the rooftop? Question: Are you would you play games if you had to do this challenge? Would you have to? <laughs> but here here's what I would do. What's the strategy? The kid would be in here. He created. Mm-hmm. There is so much that's not baby tr- proof in here. Yeah, yeah. We put a crate. Oh my god, he would. The dog crate. <laughs> oh, if you'd leave the him in a crate. crate. The, we have a dog crate up there. We'll bring the dog <laughs> crates down. Is that against the law? I think it's just it's more cultural. You just throw uh, throw Seen treats the to him. Trials of Gabriel. Can Fernandez? I throw? I'll throw nuts. Mm-hmm. I don't know what animals a, a, a babies eat. I'll throw nuts, a banana. He's half Asian. He mustn't love bananas. He loves bananas. Right. That's so, his first. Like that was one of his main words. I'm not going to peel them, so I'll just yeah. put a full banana in there. Maybe not ripe. And um, <laughs> green. Yeah, I'll throw nuts in there. Right. 
<laughs> and I, 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 dude, perfect. Exact. He doesn't need underwear. Oh, right? true. And I won't look down below, right? And we put the cat litter in there. Easy. Oh. Easy. What? Everybody, the father of my cat. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can he scoop? Yeah. <laughs> scoop. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. walking. All right. So if, if once he goes to bed, he can do what cats do and scoop it. Like cover. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach him that. I'll bring Gooner in here and Gooner ch- teach him. That's actually more impressive. Bobby trains your child to be yeah. potty trained. Mm. But like a cat. Mm-hmm. Would, the answer is the answer is uh, the truth. The truth is this, and this is honestly the truth. If there was something vital that you and your wife had to do, I was the only available person to see your kid, right? And you were like, "I need just for fucking five hours, right?" I promise you, when you come back from your whatever you need to do, your kid will be alive. In what state alive? We don't know, but alive. Alive. He'll be in a coma. But, <laughs> but he will be alive. He's the stage five. Oh, you were the last person possible. Yeah. I would do it, but I'd be sweating bullets. Why, 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 why would I be the last? What, what is like well, the image? No, you just made the scenario. Yeah. Are you fucking out of your mind, dude? If you had, if you told me five hours, dude, literally, it's just literally me in front of the baby holding it, holding it on a couch. <laughs> And going, what, 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 what? <laughs> bathroom, bathroom, right? And I would, I would probably change it 52 times just in case. Every hour, I would, 45 minutes, I would change his underwear, right? I would give him, are you hungry? Oh. It would just be complete attentiveness. Are you out of your mind? I'm the safest guy you could fucking bring your kid to because I'm so scared of hurting it in any kind of way. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay. And I need to prove a point. <laughs> when you come back, I'm like, I told you. <laughs> Throw. Yeah, yeah. Can you give a baby hot dog? No. Yeah, ask me questions oh, about baby. Oh, this is good. This is good. And I'm going to give you the real answers. And, and you ask them too, George, because you know more. Okay. Yeah. What is, name one hazard. Like, name one thing. I, 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 you don't have to even, yeah, I, go ahead. You, the corners of fucking t- tables. Mm, okay. Is it? Of lower tables, yeah. Of lower tables. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Big hazard. Yeah. Um, also, surfaces. He can climb up on a couch or something like that mm-hmm. and fall off. So that would be a hazard. Um, food wise. Food wise. <laughs> An unripe banana. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was just a joke for comedy purposes, uh, right? What? What aren't you no, going to uh, feed him? Heroin. Okay. okay true. <laughs> That's you would right, never right? do that. So, is that not on the list? <laughs> mm-hmm. Heroin. Any d- drugs is on the marijuana. Nothing. Even ed- a little three milligram el- edible gummy. What kind no of fruits way. shouldn't you give? I probably would stay away from fruits. No, nope, you can get fruit, but what I know, I, just because I don't know, I would Google safe. it. Right, I would Google everything. Right, but offhand, I don't know what he's allergic to. Guess, guess what fruit you shouldn't give. What shouldn't you give a, a, a baby? Um, durian. Know. <laughs> you know what? I guess that's durian fruit. I wouldn't give my baby. Right, durian. I wouldn't give them a uh, an unchopped pineapple because oh. <laughs> he could get. Poked, spiked, spoke, spiked yeah. mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. If I gave him a whole pineapple, he, you know what I mean? And he's like puncturing holes in his arm. Or a cactus, for that matter. I don't know if you can eat those, but I don't know if that's a fruit, but <laughs> looks like a fruit. Yeah, you can eat it. Nopales. Nopala. Nopala. Right? What's the one that you couldn't eat? Uh, um, I'm going to guess a lemon. You can give them lemon for fun. People do it's that. Funny, yeah. yeah. I saw that on YouTube. I love those, but videos. it seemed like they didn't like it. Um, you have to be careful with things like grapes. Why, why grapes? Eh, you know, choking hazards. Not cutting the grapes. Them eating it whole. Yeah, They're, yeah. Whole grape is really dangerous. Yeah, whole grape is very dangerous. And for that's eating. something that, you know, here's the thing. I didn't think that through. Did you know that? I was still on the pineapple. <laughs> Oh, you're the still on think about it. Yeah, yeah think about it. Yeah, yeah, cut yeah. Your, cut yourself. Okay, ask me another question about it. You can have, George, what's the me? age cutoff for honey? Uh, I think, can he have honey now? Oh, but for the year, first right? year, you're not supposed yeah, to, at the least the year. first no, year. No, that was a weird one. George. And I don't understand botulism. that one. George, yeah. give Bobby a scenario, a typical scenario George Kimmel, the father, goes through. I'm going to see if he can navigate it. Ask me a question, a scenario question. Um... Time is money, baby. Just go, no, through, I, go through your day. Hey, <laughs> go through your literal day in the morning. Uh, I already went over like uh, him trying to roll over when you're changing him. Uh, we've thing- got dog doors upstairs or dog. Uh, it's gates. dog proof upstairs, dog gates. So that yeah. might be is useful because as soon as he finds a stairs, he'll try to climb up it or down it. Yeah. And start rolling. 
I'm always afraid of hot liquids mm -hmm. around babies or like carrying, like when I'm boiling something. I'm like, I'm always, because I had a an ex-boyfriend who had been scalded on his chest and his arm when he was a baby and the scars were really great. Like he needed a skin graft and stuff like that. Um, but so yeah, I'm that, like that, ingrained I mean, whoever in did my that, mind. Whoever did that should be arrested. Well, no, he was apparently a toddler and he was just circling his mom while she was boiling water mm -hmm. and she was transferring something and it somehow it just got on him or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I would Bird not, egg. if I'm boiling eggs, yeah. no baby. No baby. Yeah, around. So is that good? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, give me another scenario, please. Um. My God. The, how to, the, the main chip? Do you know how to is, burp a baby? What are the steps? Oh, he's way past that. Yeah, no. but yeah, way past but, it. I already knew that, so that's why I don't even have to answer that. Fine. But no, no. The baby, like, <laughs> the problem is right now. I, was, I will not do that. If I was a baby, burp me. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, my gut instinct is this. Yeah, show. Be me. real about it. Right. Be real. All right. What and talk us through it. What you're doing? <laughs> what is this? A Samoan baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> What is that doing? Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, and then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Oh, I loved it, baby. I liked it. <sighs> so, um, all right. So that's it. I know how to do it. You would trust them. Yeah. Generally, you would trust them. Now, if I if I had an orphanage, yeah. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Because I think like one of them would turn into the Riddler. That's my fear. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, too, that's that's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility. Yeah. That many. I mean? One kid is a lot, babe. Yeah, yeah. Imagine having, like, you know, you go to like an orphanage in Eastern Europe, Europe you know what I mean? I don't want to say Euro Ukraine, but like Eastern Europe and, you know, a poorer country. Mm -hmm. I think I saw a doc, I did see a documentary, I don't know what it's called, about, you know, a, 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 an orphanage. I saw that one. Oh, it's fucked It's up. terrible. It's fucking terrible. It's like, Two women, 60 kids, Ooh. they're going in and out of rooms, you know what I mean? Not everyone, you know, some kids are getting neglected. It's just a terrible thing, man. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, over, overturn Roe versus Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, 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 see what this country turns into. But anyway. Um, what are some topics to talk about, Gil? I mean, the hot thing right now, <coughs> I didn't get to watch it, but everyone's talking about Amber Heard's testimony. Mm -hmm. Finally came out. I don't mm -hmm. know too much about it. Um, uh, I, I've yeah. just seen the snippets on uh, TikTok and stuff, and they're funny. Um, but I haven't. I, I I said this on Trash Tuesday. I I'm like team neither. They're both so messy. He's a messy, messy addict, sure. and she seems to have some very deep seated personality disorder. They're both just fucking. I yeah. It's, I, I just you know. I actually don't find it entertaining. I don't watch it because it's just like. Fuck, that's sad. It is sad. Yeah. What pisses me off is Disney taking away Pirates of the Caribbean from him. Before the trial. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's like, and now he refuses to ever do it. I mean, that's such a great move on his part, though, to be like, oh, you yeah. couldn't pay me enough money yeah, to ever do that role again, which is like, I'm smart. the final say in this. Smart. There, whoever PR person told him to say that, right, George? Yep. But there's a, it's people just, these companies jump into conclusions, mm -hmm. right? And they, they they're, I guess they're pressured into taking a side, mm -hmm. right? And they make gigantic decisions based on that pressure. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's terrible to do that. You know, it's like, you don't, you know, there's thing, something called evidence. There's something th called a court of law. There's something called, you know what I mean? P hearing people's point of view or side of the story or, or whatnot. But it's just like, you know, hopefully those days are slowly over. You know, like I said this before, it's like, you know, there was this one lady in Nebraska and she was, this is peak COVID. And she refused to put it, wear a mask on in the grocery mm. store. And she started coughing in people's faces, right? And she was fired from her job. One has nothing to do with the other. I would have to agree. Yeah. To some extent. Uh, unless, let's say, I think we should She should go to prison it. for assault. That's assault. Yeah, but what if it's a, a white teacher in an all-Asian school and out in public she calls, um, a, she calls him fucking the C-word? Uh, 
What's that? What's the, what is that one? Yeah. Uh, Ching Chong? Yeah. <laughs> Ching Chong? I don't yeah. know about Ching Chong. Oh, uh, well, she's caught on tape saying that so over some, and over again. All right, all right. Because let's say somebody stole her parking spot and she says something along the lines, get the fuck out of my spot, you CC. Ching Chong? Yeah. And, and then you find out that her profession is actually teaching an elementary school of, Chinese of just Chinese kids. Yeah. but okay, so <laughs> that's, there, a crazy uh, that's a crazy scenario. <laughs> but Wait, that actually happened. <laughs> yeah. But in that scenario, <laughs> then so yes, crazy. because... You know what I mean? One, you know, it, it, that relates to her job, right? Yeah. So that's one thing, right? <laughs> but you know, not all cases are like that, right? Like you know, um, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how I feel about this, but maybe you know, there were a lot of people that were on January sixth at the insurrection, mm -hmm. and they were fired from their jobs. Now. What one has to do with the other, I don't really know, right? And I don't know if that's... Well, what is a federal offense? Yeah, it's a federal offense, sweetie. And number two, it speaks to someone's character when they're defacing and hurting and doing all of this, like turning violent publicly on camera. If I see that and that's an employee of that's mine, what, yeah. I don't want that. I, if I, someone was there watching no, from there, a distance, I'm like, eh. yeah, there, exactly. But there, yeah. Are, no, there have been people there, though. That didn't do any of that stuff. Then I think that's kind of that up. walked in though. <coughs> walked going, inside. What? Yeah, like what's going on in here? Oh, more like you a tourist. I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You know, a tourist. You know, you're, yeah, where's the you, group leader? Who's uh, who's leading this tour? Wait, if you were there just by accident, you didn't know that there was an insurrection plan. I'm dumb enough. I probably would be like, hey, there's a special going on in the fucking <laughs> chamber. <laughs> A sale. You know like, what is mean? this Black yeah. Friday? Yeah, yeah it's what a Black Friday for American flags. <laughs> cool and I would walk in there. What's going on? Why is that cop bleeding from the face? Hey, I'm the only Asian. And here. then next week, fun. you lost Magnum PI. <laughs> Why? Wow. I was at a sale. I was at a fucking flag sale. At the, you know what I mean? In Pelosi's office, bro. <laughs> In Pelosi's office. Yeah, yeah, I. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, it's an interesting what well, go ahead well speaking of attacker i don't know if you guys maybe did this on your other podcast but did you guys comment on the uh dave Chappelle attacker situation i think they did on bad friends did. we yeah. did on bad friends yeah okay <coughs> um anything else <laughs> <laughs> what did you think kalila How oh that was that was so dumb. scary scary that was kind of funny oh my god he had a replica gun with a fucking that's knife. why it's like, funny like if you're gonna <laughs> kill her if you're gonna stab someone how, how why would you have a Gun How am I going to sneak this knife into her? Here. Yeah, let me get the most discreet knife. A gun knife. Yeah. It's kind of yeah, silly. I, I just, you know, it, it, it just reminds me. I just I just think that attacking anyone performing mm -hmm. is such a no-no. It just sounds, it's just like, it's like even when, you know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. It's like, yeah. you should know better, man. He's performing. He's doing a job. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? You know, it's like. I, I just, it's, I hate it, you know? Do you want to revisit? But, 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 but the, you know, but there is that old, have you seen the, you've ever seen the comic from the 80s? It's on YouTube. The guitar comic from the 80s. Oh my God, that's my favorite video. What's his name? So there's a guitar comic from the 80s and he's being heckled and he just snaps on stage. So bad. And he takes his guitar and <laughs> smashes over the fucking patron's head oh, I've seen 50 like, times you know so what I mean? bad and then I, the I audience goes, what the fuck are you doing right and and he goes okay i guess the show over guys and he walks <laughs> off stage like that's also terrible i shouldn't have yeah. said it's my favorite there's a video. line there what i shouldn't have said that's my favorite i just favorite said it was your video. favorite Whoa. look at the video find the video you've never seen it i mean George? oh you gotta see it, it this guy yeah this is yeah, yeah why this is amazing <laughs> oh let me Rewind it all the way. Rewind it all the way. You from the beginning? Yeah, from the beginning. They put the volume. They should on. start circulating this for hecklers again. R rewind it. Push, pause, pause. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say? Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah right here. Hey, oh. What's your name? Kenny, man. What's your name? Asshole. Well, you ain't shit, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you, if you guys don't shut the fuck up, about 200 people are going to beat the living shit out of you, and I ain't kidding. Yeah! Because we got people who can just take you out of here so fast, man, it'll be like you out in the parking lot going, huh? He does the hackiest, he does the hackiest joke here, too. Watch. It's still funny. No, watch, watch. He does. It's okay, stay. I seen your license plate. Oklahoma's okay. It's like, you know, it might not be Nirvana, man, but by God, it's okay. 
Oh, if you're in Oklahoma, so you're Oklahoma, you know, I guess if you were gay, you'd be in Oklahoma. Kind of like this guy. But you know, no, really, don't mess with me, because I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working. <laughs> oh, he's being serious? Hack. Joking? I just want to kill. Oh! Give me security. I'm sorry, man. The guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? No way. <laughs> he came at me. That was unnecessary. I want my money back. Oh my God! What's that stuff out there? You want your money back <laughs> to the greatest show you've ever seen, asshole? Ever, ever. I also just want to say that wow. you know, like before the movies, they give you like trailers. Um, before every comedy show, <laughs> they should just show this as a trailer. Yeah, so yeah. That yeah. people like hecklers don't even think Touching. about it. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think of that, George? I loved it. Don't heckle in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. Yeah, it's pretty violent. It's, it seems like it's not the first time he's used his, his guitar in a human either. Yeah. Like, he looks like a pro. He Dude. left the frame. He left the frame. You can't see him in the video anymore. Yeah. Hits the guy, comes back into the frame, and then says, the guy came at me. <laughs> I know. The guy came at me. And yeah, then yeah, the yeah. weird thing, he's trying to win the audience. Am I right, folks? <laughs> Everyone's like, no. You, went you to- assaulted somebody, dude. <laughs> like somebody's going to go, yeah, yeah. kill him. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. Have you seen anything like that in person? No, but I've seen. Years no, of- but I, I like hearing stories about like little tricks people do on comics. Like, so there's this one story. There's, there was a comic named Joey Kamen, okay. right? And Joey Kamen's closer was he took two tennis balls and stuck it in, in his mouth because <laughs> he had big cheeks yeah. and he would just do this thing right so I, I guess Joey came and went to the bathroom and the comics saw the fucking <laughs> tennis balls sitting there right <laughs> and they pissed on them they put on their asshole oh, you know what I mean? yeah and so now came and pulls out the fucking things <laughs> and everyone's laughing but the comics are on the ground just you know what I mean just dying laughing I just I just love <laughs> stories like that you know what I mean <laughs> And they probably never told him. I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Because so I'd be so pissed I'd be off. So pissed off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it true that you have been body slammed during your show? Oh yeah. What happened? Have we ever talked about like what led? Not what led to it, but you alluded. It was. Do you mean the New, New Mexico show? Oh, I thought it was Long Beach for some reason. Oh, I've been body slammed a couple of times. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, you know, in Long Beach, I got body slammed. Yeah, so some guy picked me up on my neck and threw me on my back, and I, I got concussed. Oh, babe. And no I charges. got the wind knocked out of me. No charges pressed. No. Why, why? You just accept that that's, that's a hazard of the job? That's crazy. No, because I was naked on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually the reaction, you know what I mean? Wait, so of you, some people. Hold on, so you, <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, folks? Am I right, Wait, folks? Oh, I went, <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, folks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Boy, have we needed better help. We've needed better help more than ever, right? Because we've had some controversies and some stuff (laughs) happening in our lives. Massive headaches. PTSD, trauma. Circus, circus. Circus. Life can be overwhelming, everybody. And many... People are burned out without even even knowing it. I what know. are some symptoms you think of burnout? Motivation, uh-huh. feeling helpless or trapped. Yeah, detachment, fatigue, and more. But there I've is had a solution. All of the above. Yeah, there is a solution, guys. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's so much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I love that they have a journal feature, and yeah. let me tell you guys, that journal has been filled to the brim these last couple of weeks. I've had to unload a lot of feelings. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tiger Belly listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. If you don't know how to spell, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash belly. Guys, once again, that's betterhelp.com slash belly. And he picked me up and blasted me. Rightfully so. (laughs) 
I, 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 Wait, so you 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 heckled him first? It turns you out. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing happened at the ice house. <laughs> um, oh, lessons were not learned the first time. No, no, huh? it takes me two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it takes two. <laughs> Another time, um, I was on top of another guy, <laughs> and it's always men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never do women. Um, and he th- pushed me into the wall of the ice house, but the ice house had this nail sticking out. <laughs> oh my! Right, and I have see this. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. It hit. You know what I mean? I hit the wall, and it was gushing blood. <gasps> But I went, good night. And just my, like, I look like Carrie. You know what I mean? Just blood just dripping down. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had a lot of that kind of stuff happen. Jesus. Yeah. Thankfully, you're such a nimble guy. You're so agile. Yeah. That- Comedy's violent. Yeah. I mean, one time I saw this comic, Charles Cozart, and we thought he was going to die. I was sitting, I was a doorman, and I was at the comedy store, and I was watching him perform. And then I was talking to somebody, and I turned around. And there's this gigantic biker, and he just knocks, you know, he was an audience member. And it was like one of those, like, Charles Cozart. I don't know why I'm laughing. You could, you know, he's like, you know, a nice guy, right? His eyes rolled back, and he did like a convulsion, and he just hit the fucking stage. And we were, he got a big laugh. I don't know why. (laughs) That was a laugh? Uh, Someone dying? No, but, uh, no, he didn't get a laugh. But and they, they never caught the guy. The guy ran out wow. on sunset and, and is disappeared. Is he okay though? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. But like you know, you you see, you know, or when or when I wasn't there. I wish I was. I would have. I would have spent a thousand dollars when George Lopez strangled St- Carlos Mencia at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> this is in public. Yeah, he, he strangled him in the lobby of the Laugh Factory. You know what I mean? Is there a video? No, there's no video. Oh. But I'm. In, it was one of those. That's the thing is you miss out. Because you're on the road or you don't call in that night. Magical things that happen. You know what I mean? I just love stuff like that. Like the Michael Richards. Oh, my mm. God. I remember. So I remember that night I was at the comedy store because I don't really play the Laugh Factory you know, a lot. And I remember comics coming back from the Laugh Factory and going, you can't fucking believe what happened. Michael Richards did this, hanging people and this and that. Right? And I was just like, oh, I wish... I fucking missed a cultural, you know what I mean? Moment. A moment, right? It's just like you miss it, you know? But I I do, um, but then sometimes you witness it, you know? I I witnessed when um, Richard Pryor used to come in, and we used to carry him on stage because he was on a wheelchair. Mm. Mm. And he, you know, just what a magical, cool thing. You know, I, I witnessed when... Um, I used to work the door in the 90s and when George Carlin used to come in and watch him perform those magical kind of things and you, you they're in my memory forever and he used to call me Mr. Lee and he never knew my first name but he would remember my last name every year because he used to play every year mm. like three years in a row and he would go Mr. Lee and I used to be go, like like my eyes were like he remembers my name you know what I mean and it was just like I think at the end of the day, because because now you know I go out, people know who I am, and you know I have fans and this and that, but 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 the my memories are going to be from these when I was young and in awe of it all of it. I I, I no longer am in awe of any of it, mm. you know. But I used to have this whimsical, just bright eyed. I mean, I'm you know what I mean. I'm in a magical, you know, anything can happen. Wow. And I want some of that back. You know, I, I just, I lost it, you know. But I think that's what a lot of young comics back in the day are. So, no, sometimes I'll see a young comic. <sighs> Sounds gross, but, you know, I, I was at in and out And this Hispanic um, guy came up to me and he goes, hey, uh, my name, I forgot his name, but he goes, I'm an open micer. Anyway, uh, I know you're Bobby Lee, but, you know, um, I, someone stole a joke from me. I, I'm so mad. You know what I mean? And I was a- able to talk him off the ledge. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of comics would be like, get the fuck, I'm eating my hamburger. Not me. I just looked at him and I went, all right, this is what that means. This is what people, you know what I mean, what you need to do. And all these little things. And by the end of it, he just kind of had this, like, 
thanks, man. And like this kind of wonderment about him, you know? I don't know. And I, when I see that in him, I'm like, yeah, that's what I used to feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't feel that anymore. Um, yeah, it's dead. But you feel that for other things. Like what? I don't know, watching George's Child for 12 hours. The prismatic chard. Yeah, I mean, that's right. I do see, I've noticed that watching a play, you have a twinkle in your eye when something happens on that screen with mm-hmm. Stardew Valley. Yeah. <clears throat> there, there, you know what I like? He was really angry that um, he didn't realize how valuable mahogany trees were the other day. <laughs> why, why angry? And the, 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 why he was angrier is that I know how valuable mahogany trees That's, are. Can I just say, re, just, can I just say something? Mm-hmm. All right, so when I originally played the game, right, there was no mahogany trees, right? When mahogany trees came at the 1.5, he put, like, a DLC in there, yep, right? right yeah. So when you have a mahogany seed, you don't know what the, you're like, I don't need another tree. I have pine, um, oak, you know, all the, all the other trees. Why the fuck do I need? You know, and so I just didn't plant them, you know? And then one day I was like, I needed wood, and I was chopping down. I guess I'll just chop this stupid mahogany down that I found in the forest. And it gave me hardwood. Now, listen, okay? I'm listening. In the original game of Stardew Valley, hardwood was so difficult to find. You would have to go to the magic forest. There's a secret forest, <laughs> right? And the only way to get into the secret forest is your pickaxe has to be... No, your axe has to be at a certain level. I think it's silver. You need a silver pickaxe, right, to... To upgrade your pickaxe, right, it costs money. You have no money, right? So anyway, you have to go all the way to the secret. Thing. There's only five stumps. It only gives you four hardwood, right? <laughs> and then every day you're like, because to build, to build a um, a truffle maker, an oil maker, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It takes twenty. It takes twenty hardwood. I know. Just you got me started. <laughs> Keep it up, takes. Baby. I will. It takes 20 hardware to make a fucking truffle maker, right? You also need slime, and I think you need um, coal. I don't believe it, right? But anyway, so imagine goes, I need, you can't just have one truffle maker. You need 10, right? So you, every day, tr- going all the way to the secret, right? So anyway, that's why uh, 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 mahogany trees are cool. <laughs> <laughs> so they, and when I discovered that, I'm like, oh, I could just plant. A thousand of these mahogany trees. All the I don't ever have to go. I haven't been to the secret forest in weeks since go. I discovered that. Oh. It's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You should see. That's why if you saw my farm, right? No, they're going to just say one last thing about my farm because yeah, yeah. I'm just so passionate about it. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> if you're going to condescend me, I'm not going to do it. I'm being supportive. I don't, think they, I don't like your, 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 your dreary eyes. I'm the one who told you mahogany trees are good for you. Yeah, oh, no shit. I cracked your hardwood code. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. Your okay. dilemma. So just when I originally played the game, right, I, what I would do is I would use every piece of land to farm crops because it's all about making money, right? But not this time. In this one, I've sanctioned off a chunk of my fucking farmland for a forest. Mm. Right, so I can grow mahogany trees and all the trees, so I can chop down wood, and so that I can have my um, my chickens, my ducks, and my rabbit, right? So they can frolic freely in a wooded area with a bunch I of really trees. Like yeah, that. yeah. So anyway, that's really cute. It, what's great about the last thing I want to say? <laughs> what's, what's great about the game it, it, it is it's just not a farming simulation. Anyone listening to start about Stardew Valley, right? I've learned this. It, it's it's you know. It's a game of timing. It's there's a lot of creativity because there's just so much. You have so much farmland, and you, there's so many things to build. Where to build it? Where to design things? You can move things. You can now paint buildings. You can, you know what I mean? There's certain the fences that, like, when you make in two years, they, they, they deteriorate, right? So instead of putting a wood fence in, you put a hardwood fence in because they last longer, right? So it's like there's just all these little things that you equate, and this, you know, and it's, it's a great game. Why didn't Why didn't you ever become like what do you like city planners or urban planners? You could have been a great one, sweetie. Like because comedy pays more. <laughs> Yo, kind of true. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I would get no pussy as a urban planner. Yeah, you would. Yeah, what kind? Mine. No, you, dude. Okay, pause. If okay, same look, same I Bobby. Love Lee. nerdy. Uh, same people. Bobby Lee. Uh-huh. Instead of seeing this, was guy, he just as funny? 
No, because no, nope, because I had to develop. I had to develop my comedy. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. You're on my team. But okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, yeah. So Bobby, you same guy. Yeah, maybe the same. I mean, did comedy develop your look? No, no. Okay, because if I'm an urban developer or a is that what it is? Yeah, it's an urban, urban developer. Planner, what do you urban, call those? What do you call urban it? developer plan? A developer, right? Yeah. <coughs> so I'm going to school with other developers, right? They're pretty. They they prob they, not all of them are, are into Roxy music and like you know what I mean the Velvet Underground. I mean I, I I can't explain it. I just don't think they do, right? I just think that they're a little bit more like. So uh, Do you get Harry Style tickets? You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's never been you. Even when you were in high school and not doing comedy, you were you were already Ooh. so much. I know, but that, I'm just saying. But the path already was set that I was not going to be an urban planner. Yeah, but you already had this like <laughs> you already like you were already fashionable. You were already kind of like this. Okay, I would hide funny that, dude. I would hide those aspects of me when I'm in urban planning school. And where do we meet in urban planning school? No, that's the thing. Okay. We, met, we, we meet the way we fucking met Tinder, and when you read, he's an urban planner, I don't think you would be like... But how about this? Instead of, seeing, instead of seeing him on Matt TV, you yeah. just saw maybe one of his cities that he planned. Let me tell you, that I would give me no bigger boner if you were like, this is actually a thing I developed. I love talented people. I honestly, you will not believe how many mongrels I swiped right on Tinder. Or like, you were kind of the hottest one, to be honest. I was not very selective. Oh, so if I went, well, see, uh, we're here on Western and Olympic. Do you see anything? I would be like, You'd be like, yeah. what? I'd be like, I developed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your pussy would get wet? Boner, yeah. You see that water fountain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Leroy wanted to put the water fountain on the other side of the street, but not me. I put over there. I put it in the grove. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and grove, mind you, the only grove on the street. I'm the one that did that. That, in that intrigues me. Really? Yeah. But then you know, we see a homeless guy where they're pissing on my water fountain. You know what I mean? People shooting heroin. That one. You hit him with a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, comedy's what I, I just you know I'd rather do this. Mm. This is fun. Um, I think I'm having some type of episode. Is it from all the stress today? Yeah, like my heart's beating very irregularly Go get a tell right we'll now. Go get a tell -no. Go get a beta blocker. Or maybe a Zipix? Huh? Does that make it worse? The Zipix. No, it's just, um, um, what do you call it? Yeah, I'm very, I'm getting a lot of like PVCs. Mm. All right, so them. I want to clarify it in the shop episode because I, I guess it's still muddled and whatnot. But um, number one, okay, if Kalila had had an affair, right, and mm -hmm. cheated on me, mm -hmm. I would leave. Right. Okay. This was something that I knew was going to happen. It was an open discussion. You know, that's what all of this is. Like, in terms of, like, when I went to rehab, it's like, this is what I'm doing. This is where I need to go. What that's about kinda... the rumor that said um, it's the open relationship or whatever, whatever, that caused your relapse? No. Here's where it gets modeled. There is another event that caused my relapse. That was that I can't get into it. Separate from that's early separate. from last early at last. Yeah, yeah. There was another event that caused my relapse. Um, but you know what? Nothing caused my relapse. What caused my relapse was I wasn't going to AA meetings, right? Mm. And I wasn't doing the work to stay sober. And when you're like that and you're a dry drunk, any event you can make an excuse to go out. So that's the real truth. Okay. Um, if I was working a program and I was going to meetings, I was calling my sponsor, any event that happens, even a death in the family, you can get through it, you know what I mean, through the program. But I wasn't going to meetings. I was self-will. I was just doing my own thing. And um, it was inevitable. Any kind of thing could have happened. If it didn't happen then, it would have happened some other time. You know, I read something online. Bobby's just a drug addict. He keeps relapsing every other year. Like, you know, he's an untrustworthy guy. It's like... Okay, that's true. I'm a drug addict and alcoholic, and mm. I slip up sometimes. And, um, you know, I, I had 17 years at one point, 12 years at another point. You know, um, I've had long gaps of sobriety, um, but there's no shame in relapsing. Mm. Um, this time around, it's very serious. I'm, I've been more 
adamant and it's, it's just it's, you know that last reason was very profound you know my, I felt like my life was falling apart in a very um, extreme way you know um, I also had a worldview on, on my life that was I never had before in terms of the trajectory of what I want on my life and where you know all that stuff right so um yeah I, I just want to make it clear that um it was something that I knew about. It was mm -hmm. something that I told her to do. It was we had a open thing. Right now, I don't want that right now, and um, we were back to being monogamous. But um, <laughs> trust me, if I, I listen, I love Kalila, but I'm not a bitch. Hey, no bitch. You know what I mean? And I will do what I please. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've never been that guy. Mm. I've always been in relationships. I feel safe in them. I need someone. I need to trust somebody. You know what I mean? I can't just not know somebody and then boink. Mm. You know. I'm really similar, sweetie. Yeah, I can't do it. It's it's weird. I like how you said boink too. It's yeah, so yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I kind of had a little bit of a um, giggle, then a little bit of a rage, <laughs> then back to a giggle. And I think I read something where we were like, well. You know, Kalila, she emasculates Bobby. How does she expect intimacy from him? And I'm like, you guys, he's been calling me Stanley Tucci for 10 years. If I <laughs> emasculate... Fun. I know, but if I emasculate you, you masculate me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally... Like, if I've turned you into a woman, you've turned me into a dude. Okay. Equally. You, I doubt that you've ever been in a restaurant. Yeah. And a hostess said, Mr. Tucci, would you like a table? <laughs> I've been called sir. No. Well, have you been called ma'am? Yes. No. <laughs> I've been called sir for sure. You have never been called ma'am. I've been called ma'am many times because of my long hair. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In 7-Eleven all the time. Yeah. Thank you, lady, to me. And I'm like, what? Bro, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, are we done? I thought you were going to say we a butt bow. You guys always end with that. No, we, are we unhelpful? Yeah. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hey guys, this really isn't a question about advice, but I want to know the backstory behind the podcast intro and outro song that Bobby sings in the intro and Kalila sings in the outro. How did you guys come up with it? What was the idea for it? Who mixed the music? How did you record it? I've also noticed in earlier podcasts, there are other songs as well, mostly sung by Bobby that you tried out. I love all the music, little songs that are in your podcast, and want to know more, and want to know more about them. I have an iPad. Love, Anana. I have an iPad and there's a guitar thing. What's it Garage called? Garage Band. Garage Band. And I, I know how to write music. He's so good. Yeah, I know. I write all kinds of styles of music. and But I only do loops. Mm -hmm. Right? So I, 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 I get so lazy. It's like, I'll, I'll do four, you know what I mean? In, you know, Sometimes intros and, then, and a, like, maybe a chorus and then that's it. We've yeah. written two together. Yeah, we have. And um, honestly, some of the stuff that he um, that he's written makes me cry well i have one that's gonna annoy you can i just play it uh, yeah we haven't heard a lot of oh my guitar no uh, this is one that is, can i just oh chris D'Elia, hold on <laughs> he just okay. texted me oh chris D'Elia. yeah okay what did he say can we put that are you all right hold on where's my guitar center uh, what's it called garage band i keep got a guitar, guitar center, center. Yeah. Karate. All right. So there's one. Wait, wait. I'll show you the song. Hopefully, it'll download. Um, Karate Haya is one of my favorites. Oh, the Trash Tuesday um, jingle is by Bobby. Oh. Yeah. There's obviously the classics are Shadow Gook, Karate Haya. Yeah. Hawaii. Oh, here we go. This is the one. Oh, it's it's going to drive you crazy. What? Oh, that's the one with Yana's Karate Haya. Well, just listen. <laughs> it's, I got to download. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm missing sound, so I have to fucking download. Oh, fuck it. Dang it. I can do it on my iPad. Dang it. Hey, can I go grab it? I can grab my iPad. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll take a pause. Because I want you to play that song that makes me cry. Claude, take a bite of that pizza while you break. It's Tiger Belly. All right, guys. Here uh, wait, we wait, are. wait, wait, wait. No, you know what it is? I, I erased because she was so mad about it. I thought it made you cry. No, no. There was one song that, that she was so mad about it that I completely erased it. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, no. Here it is. No, here it is. <laughs> Hopefully this is it. Hopefully. Uh. They become, oh, here, here they it is. Here, earworms. Here we know? go. We already did this on yes. Patreon. I love this. I remember good time. You know. 
I hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, wait, wait. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. It's a Patreon one. Cool. I'll let people hear your verse. No, if I'm gonna make you edit it out. Just stop. Go to town on a pit. I hate it. <laughs> Say a lot I hate it. It's a good time. This is your good. Oh yeah, this is George or Bryce. Yeah. Demon dog, yes, my friend, you're a demon dog. You're that's good. My balls. <laughs> what? Didn't even follow the order. <laughs> so that's one of that's one oh, of the songs have, that you that you play, hate. Play some more that like that's very um. Dude, that was Red Dead Redemption phase for you. Oh, that's why I remember that. Oh yeah, Claude remembers that. <laughs> there was this one. There's one that this is the one I think that I wrote for you. Is she really crying? Yeah. I wrote this for her. <laughs> Can you talk us through it, Why? <coughs> I don't know why it makes me cry. Because we wrote it together. There was a couple of sections in the song like, what do you think that melody should do? And she goes, do Ooh, this. I like that. Do, 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 do. Anyway. There's other I think it makes me cry. <laughs> Can I just explain myself? What, so that what yeah. time period was that in your guys' relationship? Um, oh, a long time ago. I think they were like, I miss our old apartment. <laughs> you miss that? You complained about that all the time. Yeah. No, I realized that it was a really special time for us. Um, we really couldn't go anywhere but that room because we had such little space. <laughs> and then uh... we would just lie down a lot together and then just be really close and then just do dumb things like write on garage band and stuff and i think it makes me realize like we've been together for so long and we had a really rough year last year mm. and our relationship was we didn't know if we should together. still be together and it was so much like painful deliberation mm -hmm. and i just I, I just think of that time <laughs> Are you ready to do another song bit? I feel like I feel like anybody. I was like feeling like Kalala. I feel like Bob was ready. To I, I want to. I want to. But I want to be there. But <laughs> there's a show, <laughs> and the show must dick. go on. <laughs> and the show, <laughs> and the show must go on. You, I saw that you want to play another song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have a cute. <laughs> I have a, a song cute. So Are you done with the t tears, man? Yeah. I am. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <I am. laughs> <laughs> All right, I so can't stop crying. I, I, I know. So, um, you comfort her, baby, a little. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> here you this go. I miss those times too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> apartment. You know what I mean? Apartment. So, this is the one that I wrote. This is one of my favorite ones. That was sweet, Clara. Thank right? you for sharing. <laughs> you want to listen to uh, that's the one I like? Yes, no, please. You got me going. All right. All right. Which one makes me cry too? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, that's a good melody change. Minor key. I love this one. <laughs> no lyrics? No. <coughs> yeah, I wrote that. That's low key like the weekend. That's like ah, legit. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe a weekday. <laughs> hey, your name should be weekday. Bad, weekday yeah. We are weekday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the weekday. You okay? <laughs> Why? <are> you... <laughs> hey, all right, what's going on? Yeah, dude, she's sobbing. You had a song cued. Like, hurry up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man up. Come on, babe. Come on. He Come doesn't on. do well when I um when I cry. <laughs> it's a little bit like I, you know, I'm not like Data, but like you know. Yeah. yeah, from Star Trek, Star Trek but uh, you know, I can't even say, can't even say Star, there's Trek, two Star Trek. Other, there's two other songs that he knows will absolutely cause me to just mm. like cry I have, for a I have like 50 songs I've written. A lot of them do make me cry. I yeah. know it's it's a weird thing, but music is a big cry trigger for me. There's two songs that make me feel that way. It's a Human League song called Electric Dreams. So you don't don't play it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a happy song. It makes me bawl my eyes out. And I, know the the, other I, know, one, I know the other one. What? The Moana song. Really? <laughs> oh, are you being serious? Like da na 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 na. That one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play it. We no, can't because we of the flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just yeah, sang it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What did you think when she first cried dude, to dude, that song? Dude, if you're anywhere in a mall, <laughs> and when that song comes out, I always want to go, turn it off! <laughs> just turn it off! Right, because she'll start fucking crying. Yeah. There's not a... There are some songs... Oh, my God, There's one Kalilah. more song that's on Beatles. Oh, in my life. In my life. Yeah. Um, but that's a go-to for a lot. That makes yeah. me... Yeah, I mean... It's, it's a, a lot, lot of Filipino it, funerals. It, it's a little hacky, babe. <laughs> no, well, it's, it, it was it's played a lot in, like, yeah. Filipino funerals, yeah. like, my aunt's funeral and stuff, so that it, it triggers a big emotion in me. But it's so weird, right? Because once it, you feel triggered to cry, yeah. there's no turning back. Like, I can't even hear you say the like, Moana. Like, it yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrecks me on the inside. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's okay. You're not supposed to see this side yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, weird. Blackbird pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <Right. coughs> anyway, um, thanks for listening. Yeah. Um, and uh, God Wait, bless you. That was it? That's yeah, it. I, have to, I have to I have some things to do at Stardew. It's fall. <laughs> it's the big, it's the first day of fall. I got stuff to stuff to do. But anyway, I'm gonna eat some more pizza, but um, God bless you. Take care. Clyla, final words? Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I love you guys. Make sure you follow us <laughs> at Tiger Valley.